Oh my god! The Cars 3 trailer just came out today, one day earlier than I predicted, and man, it was amazing! They went for a dark, dramatic appeal with McQueen absolutely racking and crashing. So we'll get to that later on in the video, but if you haven't seen the trailer yet, there is a link in the description for it, and obviously this video will contain spoilers about the trailer. So if you want to go into the theater on June 16th, 2017 with absolutely no prior knowledge, then don't watch this video. But not much really was revealed. So we'll go clip by clip analyzing this trailer. It's kind of short, 47 seconds, but it is just a teaser trailer. So we got the Disney and Pixar titles. Pretty obvious. It's a Disney Pixar movie. Fans cheering in the background with a glimpse of a bunch of race cars going by. And we can see a lot of RVs in the center. The cars are going by way, way too fast to see any specific sponsors, but there is a Shiny Wax Racer and a couple others that I'll talk about later on in the video. This trailer is pretty much 80% just racing clips. Another clip shows the right side of a little Torquey Pistons racer. So it looks like the numbers are the same from the first Cars movie, like Little Torquey Pistons is still number 117, but the designs have been altered. Same thing with Rev and Go on the other side. Rev and Go is definitely a different character, not Misty Motocross anymore because the model is different. So I feel like the companies are still around, like the Little Torquey Pistons company and the Shiny Wax company, those are still around, but those racers, the drivers, the characters have retired like Aiken Axler or Ralph Carlo who was the Little Turkey Pistons racer. They retired and now they have employed, the companies have employed new racers so it makes sense that the models have changed and the designs a little bit as well. Now we see some more racers going by. One of them has the Colors of Clutch Aid, the sponsor from Cars 1. So it could be him, but it's really, really blurry, so you can't really see for sure. Some more racing scenes. This trailer, like I said, is primarily racing scenes until we get to the crash. And we can eventually see a little bit of the Bumper Say Racer in one scene that has the classic view of a right front wheel. This was also a scene from Cars 1 at the beginning. I believe the racer might have been Gaskets or it appeared around when Gaskets appeared in Cars 1. And so I really like that. And it looks like they're doing a lot more continuous streak from Cars 1, I guess you could say. So that's really cool. This movie will definitely be more similar to Cars 1 than Cars 2. So if you guys didn't like Cars 2, don't worry. Cars 3 looks like it'll be a lot better and a lot similar to the first movie. Then we see a white and pink racer from behind with an elevated spoiler along with a blue racer on the left and a green one on the right. The blue one is number 31, I believe, and all three of them look to be new sponsors, new companies not from Cars 1, and the pink slash white one in the middle could be a rather main character because they focused on him or her for a decent amount of time, especially compared to the rest of the trailer. And now we can see on the right side of the track that this is actually the Los Angeles International Speedway, which if you don't know is the speedway at the end of Cars 1. So it's a little weird because the LA Speedway isn't on the list of speedways that take five a day announced. I talked about that in my Smokey and Miss Fritter speculation video, and you can check out all of my Cars 3 speculation videos in the description and at the end of the video on the end screen. And now we move on to an aerial view. We can actually see on the side banner of the track again. This time it says Piston Cup. So we're back in the Piston Cup, which is just amazing. Who doesn't love the Piston Cup? It had so many awesome things about it. So I really am glad that we're back with the Piston Cup, but we really don't know what's going to happen with the Piston Cup for the rest of the movie. This is probably the beginning of Cars 3 because McQueen has to crash early on so then he can get trained by Cruz Ramirez. At least that is my opinion. I mean, why would they leave off the movie having him crash in 
They won't even show the end of the movie. So this is definitely somewhere toward the beginning. And in this aerial scene, we see Lightning McQueen at the front of the pack and it looks to be maybe Sputterstop behind him, at least a Sputterstop racer, but it's really, really far off to see for sure. And so it's nice that McQueen's leading the path. That's pretty expected, of course, because McQueen's the main character. And he's been racing for 11 years now, so he's like the king. He's always at the front of the pack. But as shown at the end of the trailer, he definitely has his bad moments. And it's probably because he's getting a little bit older. And then we have another typical racing scene from the side. Definitely some interesting models for the racers. They're not the regular ones from Cars 1. I mean, in Cars 1, we had just... McQueen's model, the King's model, Jake Hicks's model, and the three basic Piston Cup models, which are based on Nitroid, Leakless, and Octane Gain or RPM, whichever one you think came first. Now, I know there are going to be a lot of people watching this video who don't clock the diecast, who are just fans of the movies, and that's completely okay. So I don't want to confuse you by talking about all the jargon with the exact models and stuff. So just kind of focus on the main idea here. We have all these different exotic, technologically advanced race cars, which really emphasizes the technological aspect of the movie. I mean, back when the synopsis for the movie was released back in June, it said that McQueen is struggling to keep up with the technology of 2017, which is hurting him in the racing career because Jackson Storm, the main racing rival of McQueen, is a rookie. So obviously he is going to be the most technologically advanced. So it really stresses that point, which will be a major theme of the movie. So here's where it gets really good. We see a black racer with some blue trim from behind. He's speeding up and he kind of looks like a similar model to Carlo Veloso, but he's definitely different. I just wanted to throw that in there because that's the first thing that I thought of. But I do think that this is Jackson Storm, like I previously mentioned, and now this name will be all over the place very soon, but I know that not many people know about it right now, but Jackson Storm is McQueen's main racing rival and the probable antagonist of the movie. He's like Chick Hicks from Cars 1. And now there was a picture, and we'll get to that, and it shows his face. And man, he looks mean, but we'll get to that. It was in the trailer, so we'll get to that soon. And he has some blue outline, like I said, and he looks vicious. I mean, he just comes up right through the middle and you hear this very technologically advanced engine as he increases speed. And like I said, this just stresses the technological aspect of the movie and how McQueen is becoming outdated because his engine doesn't sound like that. And it really reminds me of the scene in Cars 1 when Doc and McQueen are about to race and they both turn on their engines. Doc's engine sounds so old and outdated. McQueen's is loud and it's new and very, I don't know, but it's technologically advanced at the time of 2006. But now, 2017, 11 years later, we have Jackson Storm kind of being McQueen in 2006 and McQueen being Doc Hudson in 2006 in terms of their engine. So it's kind of like a metaphor that I came out with there. And then we see a newly designed shiny wax racer on the left of Jackson. That was a company sponsor in Cars 1. And a newly designed no stall racer on the right as well. No stall has blue, green, and red colors now, not just red, black, and white. So that's very interesting. Again, it shows that the designs have been evolved and upgraded, and it's not going to be Todd Marcus as the no stall racer anymore. At least I highly doubt it. As Jackson Storm speeds ahead, a sputter stop racer is revealed on the left, and a new sponsor, Intersection, on the right. There's some writing on that other pink and white racer that I talked about earlier, and it kind of looks like Intersection as well. Now, of course, this Intersection racer on the right of Jackson is pink, and so maybe they're racing for the same company, and I'll get to this a little bit later, but they may have taken clips from different races, so 
All the clips you saw in this trailer, they may not actually be from the same exact race. So kind of interesting there, and I will talk about that a little bit later on in the video. And now we see the back of McQueen, and it gets a little scary here, guys. An announcer on the loudspeaker is saying something, I believe he does say McQueen is fading, and he's fading fast, meaning that he's drifting off to the right to the wall. They definitely most likely hits the wall and that's when we get the crash. I couldn't recognize the voice. I don't think it's anyone that we've seen in the movies before like Daryl Cartrip or Brent Mustangberger or Bob Cutlass or David Hobbscap or potentially Jeff Corvette. I really don't think it's anyone that we've seen before. It's probably a new character. Of course, McQueen spins out struggling to stay stable. I assume that's after he hits the wall, he hits the wall, he kind of like, I don't know, maybe he was like, I don't know what happened here, but somehow McQueen hit the side of the wall, maybe he was going too fast into the curve, and he just spins out, and then you hear panting, probably McQueen panting, as his spoiler is ripped off, back tire looks to be bursted, and sparks everywhere, McQueen Man, he just got wrecked. I don't know what happened to cause this. I mean, like I said, he probably hit the wall, but man, just a terrible, terrible crash. And a little Easter egg, as you see McQueen flying through the air, is a Dynaco sign in the back. So we know that Dynaco will have some significance in the movie, most likely, or it could just be an unimportant sign. Now, for those of you who don't know, The King, voiced by Richard Petty, actually played the Dynaco Racer in Cars 1. So that's cool to see him back. And so what do you guys think of the trailer? I thought it was great. And if anyone was wondering, they made it dark for dramatic effect. I think it'll definitely be brighter in the movie, but I feel like they're definitely trying to show everyone that this is different than Cars 2. We're not going down the spy route anymore, and I'm happy that they're not. So I'm, I'm happy. It looks like a great trailer. Of course, it does say, from this moment, everything will change. And then it says summer 2017 in a Cars logo, which of course we know the movie will come out on June 16th, 2017. That's where I'll be on that day. I'll be in the theater and then probably going hunting for some of the die casts. I mean, I am marking that date on my calendar, the most important day of 2017. So I think it was a great trailer. I mean, it was very, very nice, very serious. A lot of people are thinking that Pixar went down a dark route for this movie and they definitely made it more serious, but I think it will still have some humor because, you know, every Pixar movie has humor and lightheartedness, but they definitely want to show the people who didn't really like Cars 2 that it's going to be different. We realize that we didn't really make the best movie with Cars 2 and so now we're going to do something more similar to Cars 1 and it's definitely going to be different because you know I liked Cars 2 because I'm just like a Cars fanatic but I definitely understand the people who didn't like it as much because you know I like Cars 1 way more than Cars 2 anyway so Cars 3 looks amazing. I think that Cars 1 will still probably be better than Cars 3, maybe not, but Cars 2, yeah, that'll definitely be on the bottom, at least for me personally. And so now, I personally think that when the text says everything will change, it refers to how McQueen might consider retiring immediately after he crashes, which, like I said, is probably at the beginning of the movie. Because, you know, Doc retired after his crash, and the King retired after his crash, even though he was going to retire already. I'm just saying that it's kind of like a trend. You crash, you retire. But especially with Doc, because obviously Doc was McQueen's mentor and coach until, unfortunately, he died. Now, Doc will have a part in this movie, some inspirational part, and maybe even a flashback as well. Check out some of my other Cars 3 speculation videos if you want to learn more about the Doc Hudson flashback. I definitely think it'll happen, guys. So 
get excited for that. Now there was a picture release that was not in the trailer like I hinted at before. It shows McQueen's side and a very, very angry racer toward the back who is probably Jackson Storm. It matches the car we saw before that I said was Jackson Storm. So man, he looks amazing. He's black, he's got this blue trim. And now this picture looks to be from the Midnight Run race as it's very dark. So I assume it's midnight and something like that. So very, very nice. I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I don't really know where this picture came into play here. I've seen it used as the thumbnail for some of the trailers on YouTube and as the title picture for some articles about the trailer. But yeah, I did not see it in the trailer itself though. So Disney Pixar must have released it separately. So overall here, just kind of wrapping things up. There were some definitely new racers integrated in with the original Piston Cup sponsors like Little Turkey Pistons, Shiny Wax, No Stall, possibly Clutch Aid. Not really sure about any others, but I do talk about a list of Piston Cup racers that have been rumored to appear in the movie in my second speculation video about the die cast and whatnot. Now, if you don't collect the die cast, you can still watch that video because it has a bunch of new names about stuff. And so it really is just a list for the die cast, but obviously the die cast reflect what's in the movie. So now I do want to talk about Jackson Storm briefly. From this trailer, he definitely looks to be more like a bad guy like Chick Hicks, maybe even worse than Chick Hicks. Of course, Francesco Bernoulli was on the nice spectrum of things. He was a nice racer antagonist. I mean, he wasn't really an antagonist. I mean, he was nice to McQueen. They were friends at the end of the movie. They never really did anything to each other, mean, said anything bad. But Chick Hicks definitely did not like McQueen, did not like the King either, and they definitely butted heads there. And now with Jackson Storm, he looks to be even worse, especially from this picture. He looks mad. He wants to win. He looks really greedy to win. And so, yeah, I think he might actually be a pretty bad and, you know, in all terms or of seriousness here, he might be a good antagonist for the viewers because, you know, I know some movies, you know, they don't have the best like antagonists. They don't have the best bad guys, but Jackson Storm looks to be a pretty good villain. So, you know, I think that'll be great. He looks awesome. Great design. Brett Dalton might be voicing him, but there has been no confirmation on that either. So I cannot wait to see more footage. The animation, oh my God, that was just great in this trailer. It looked dark, obviously, like I said, for dramatic effect, but man, the animation, that was just amazing. That was phenomenal. And so I think we'll see another trailer maybe in late December, early January, or maybe sometime in January. I'm just kind of matching this up with Finding Dory. That teaser trailer came out around the same time this one did, but I'm not entirely sure when they had their next like full on trailer one, because obviously this is just a teaser trailer. Then we'll see a trailer one, which will be pretty long, and then a trailer two and then a trailer three along with some clips and TV spots kind of mixed in there as well. But I think the first like full big Finding Dory trailer came out maybe in January. If you guys know this, just let me know or I will just figure it out on my own. And of course, comment in the comment section below any speculation that you might have about this trailer. I love reading your guys' comments about speculation and whatnot because you guys have some great ideas that I never thought of. I mean, I'm just presenting the things that I have thought of, but you guys come up with a lot of good stuff as well, especially when you guys talk with each other, then you guys form some great thoughts and discussion. So I just love interacting with that because you know, I do reply to all my comments. And so yeah, just let me know what you guys think of this trailer. Let me know if I missed anything as well because I could have missed anything in the trailer. I mean, I think I got pretty much everything like with the Dynaco sign and the Piston Cup banner and the Los Angeles International Speedway banner. Those were like the three main things that I feel like 
people didn't catch on to. Same thing with what the announcer said. That was kind of hard to hear. I think they did that on purpose. I don't know if they wanted really everyone to necessarily hear that, but it's out now. I believe he said McQueen is fading and he's fading fast. So yes, that definitely means going off, drifting toward the wall. So awesome, awesome trailer. Thank you guys for watching. Get hyped for Cars 3. Man, it's just gonna be a roller coaster ride all the way until June 16th, 2017. And it's just going up from here, guys. This is just the start. So I'll see you guys next time for another video. Not sure when it'll be, but I'm actually really excited because like I said, my last Cars 3 speculation video, I am going to be going on vacation on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. If you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, and then I wouldn't have been able to do my speculation video if the trailer came out on Tuesday like I thought it would. So it's great that I came out a day early so I can do my video for you guys. And it actually came out while I was in school. And yeah, I stuck my phone out and started watching it right there. And unfortunately, I didn't hear anything until I got home. So it was like, like three more periods until I could actually go home and listen to it. It was just agony in, in class today. So thanks again for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. See you next time. Bye now. <laughs>